Hi, good morning everyone. A lovely day today, isn't it? Just a job. Just right to do another security camera review. So, with the help of Mo here, we're going to take you through this camera. And this one got lots of new features on it. I like to keep abreast of security cameras because they're changing and improving the whole time. So, that's why I tend to do so many uh, because I like to keep ahead of them. I like to be ahead of the game when it comes to the technology. On these devices. So, without further ado, Mo, should we give this one a go? I'll take you through the camera details and what it's got to offer. Should we do that, Mo? Yeah, we can. <laughs> Good girl. Here then is the camera unboxed. Everything out. Show you what you get with the kit and obviously your manual here. Quick start guide. Power supply. The actual camera, it is an outside one of course, so it is meant to take the weather if you want it out there. But don't forget, you can use it indoors as well, so kind of when you get an outdoor camera, it's dual purpose, isn't it? Whereas if you get an indoor one, you are stuck, you can't put it outside, but this is an outside one as well, which is good. And then obviously the connection leads, the waterproof covers, and a screw kit there. There's a drill template there to aid fitting it to the wall, whatever you're gonna do it, where it's gonna go, at least you can just get it up and get the right holes marked out for the fixings. And a nice little piece here for our customers. If you've got any problems, you can contact them. So that's rather nice to have. So all in all, it all looks presentable. Let's go through what we have on offer now. Okay, so what do we got here? It's a 1080p high definition camera really well built I can tell you that looking at it it looks high quality and what have we got extra with this well a real gain for me is it works with Google <laughs> which I have uh, and it also works obviously with Alexa to show you what you're looking at and it's waterproof obviously as I've said and it's got 30 meters night vision which is pretty extensive that's quite a good range so What's the other main things with this? Well, you can set this camera to have a strobe light and siren alarm come on when a detection is picked up. So, once you get an alarm notification, what would you like to do with it? Well, obviously it gets sent to your phone to act to say that you've got an activation straight away. But would you like it recorded? Well, of course we do. So you can put an SD card in this particular security camera. Uh, that will take up to 256 megabytes. Or you can send it to the EZVIZ cloud, which gives you a one month free trial. Then after that, it's $2.99 a month. But that option is yours, of course. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the setting up procedure because it is so easy peasy. I mean, these things are getting easier and easier to set up. I can remember these cameras a few years ago would be a nightmare to set up the app, but now it is so simple. This one even speaks you through it as a guide, so you can't go wrong. It really is incredibly, so I'm not gonna go through all that. I will just show you the app, and there it is. EZVIZ, and we'll come on to show you the camera, what it's got now on view. I've got it outside at the moment, so it's a lovely sunny day, so, oh yes, we should see something nice like that. Okay, it's got an auto upgrade, so we'll let that do that. Well, that was real quick. That uh, uploaded the latest update to the phone from the app. So here we have the view outside of my garden. I'll turn it around so you get a better look at it. The phone, that is. <laughs> and there we are, the view up my garden as seen through the mobile phone. Really lovely picture, I have to say. As I said earlier, you do get a free trial of the Cloud app or you can obviously do your video history through the SD card there. So as usual, all these cameras, lots of settings inside. Okay, so we've got the light and the infrared light and audio set. Alarm notification, I haven't got it set yet, but I'll set it in a minute just so you can hear it go. And daylight saving time, Wi-Fi configuration, you've got your cloud storage here, and just your device version storage status. Image encryption, password, flip image, sleep mode, user guide, so there's quite a lot of things in there. Here's the alarm notification. You can actually have a schedule on here. Put that over if you put that enabled. And you can set up notification schedule times. I'm not gonna go for that one though, because I don't particularly want that one. Uh, the motion detection error, I think is a very important one. And this is the one where you can click, linear slide it, 
and close it. So you can kind of order all this places where you want the settings to be, if you see what I mean. Okay, you don't want to save any of that. Motion sensitivity, low, high, medium. It's good that we can adjust that. We don't do any false alerts. And then select the mode, the warning, in, so it can be soft or loud. So when I walked out there, I've got a straight detection. And if I go there, you can see there's a motion detection alarm. And what it is, it's just showing literally a bit of my knee that first entered the area because <laughs> I've got all areas selected. She only actually caught my knee, but the eye went straight off and sent me the message to my mobile phone. So I'm guessing you'd like to hear what the alarm sounds like, so let's go for it. Quite loud. <laughs> and the flashing light. Now, I didn't realise early on that I hadn't set the settings to Ultra HD, which I've just done now, so I'm going to give you the big screen yet again, see what you think. Yeah, that is better again, that's Ultra HD, that's the 1080p. I only had it on standard before, would you believe? Now, that is incredible, isn't it? Really, a lovely picture. My. There's also another view of the garden looking the other way. Oh, look, Mo's just gone outside. That's good. <laughs> she needs to go out today. She's shocking another last screen i'll show you and that's my album share and account security and such stuff function settings the cloud play if you've got any recordings on there and feedback now i like the my album one because if you want you to record it manually uh, onto the phone you can you can if you see an alarm or something anything actually i'll i'll record that a bit longer and see what's going on you can get there and i'll show you what i've recorded just some different bits up in the garden and it's quite nice to be able to just click on and see what you've got there so they'll all be loaded there different ones that i've done and you can push to play on that video that i've recorded there and you can see up the garden there here we are then night time has come at last and here we have the night vision on this camera fantastic as you can see Jan will put some lights on in the summer house up the top there now and you'll see that light up. There we are. Look at that. Anyway, fantastic. As I say, really good. So that just leads me to show you the leads. That's a 12 volt lead in there. Got one supplied, obviously with a power supply, which is a UK plug by the way. And obviously if you want to put it straight into your modem, the Fnet lead goes in that one there. There is caps, wood seal caps for these, okay in the package that I showed you earlier. <laughs> so there we are. And that's about it really. Great bit of kit, I like it obviously. I like to keep ahead of technology if I can. I like to see the latest things that come out and see where the advances are taking us to make life ever easier for us, hopefully. <laughs> okay, that's about it then. All my stuff, you know where to go, the usual place, Derek and 33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.